Okay, we're covering a, another GB7 case. This one came out around the Play It Loud era. So it was, you know, mustard yellow, ketchup red, green relish, Game Boy, and Game Boy Pockets, um, Game Boy Colors. You know, there was one on Nintendo and all, you know, they, they had all their fancy colors. Um so yeah, by this time they had the Stuffalon. Uh, this is made by ALS Industries. They had the Stuffalon trademark, copywritten uh, Stuffalon nylon weave with uh, polyurethane foam going on. Uh, they have this awesome logo there. By the way, I should note, um, I've come across a lot of these cases where the logo here, the stitching on the logo, is yellowed, just from age. And what I do um, to correct that issue is I bleach it, <laughs> um, but I, I do it carefully. So you might be able to see a slight difference in the white of the Nintendo logo and the white of the Game Boy logo. I did that because I'm afraid if I tried to bleach around there, I might actually bleach the red. But um, what happens, what I do is I take a little bottle cap put some bleach in there and, and just with a toothpick just gently uh, and carefully you know dip the toothpick dot 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 dip the toothpick dot 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 and just go around the the stitching being careful not to get it on the black and uh, yeah that's how you can get some nice white uh, lettering back <sighs> actually you know what let's um we can we might be we might cut to this we might not but I have the original GB7 case here. You can see how it compares in width to the um, the other one. It's a little bit wider, and there's no stitching. It's all just printed on the nylon. It's not actually stuffalon. It's pre-stuffalon. <laughs> so I just wanted to show off how that compared. Just a little bit, little bit wider. This one was only made for fitting the. Uh, at the time when the, when the original Game Boy was only around. So let's, we're cutting back now, back to the case. So let's check out the uh, the rest of the case around the sides. Nothing on the back, no pockets or anything. We, got, we do have an adjustable shoulder strap here with um, this little piece here to distribute the weight of everything that you're carrying inside the case. We've got these uh, stamped logos on the uh, zippers, which I think are always cool. So let's get on to, into the interior of the case. Now, what's great about this period is since they had all, they had three Game Boy lines out: the original Game Boy, the Game Boy Pocket, and the Game Boy Color. This case and its tray were designed to fit all three. So. Outright, it fits a Game Boy, it fits some cables underneath. You can put like batteries and other kinds of accessories in there. Um, but uh, yeah, we also have the uh, three Game Boy games in their cases, or about I have two there sitting out there right now, but it fits about uh, five games loose without their clamshell cases. Um, so we got the, the Game Boy fitting in there like that. Actually, it pops up a little bit above the rim here, but it fits. The, the, this, this tray is meant to fit it. Uh, here we have a Game Boy Color. I can't remember which way it's supposed to go. It may go this way. Um, hold on. One of these ways. It locks in the place. There it goes. It locks in the place right here. Um, so it's pretty pretty uh, stiff. Now the Game Boy Pocket, <laughs> if I put it in like this, it, it, it rocks up and down. So it won't hold. But if I put it in sideways, this is how the Game Boy Pocket sits. Sideways. Like I do this all the time. It's supposed to fit like that. It's, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't rock back and forth and it holds in place. So nonetheless, it fits all three, so that's a pretty cool, um, pretty cool feature of this case that you can 
pretty much fit. It won't fit a GBA. The GBA will rock around, but they do make, of course, I did like I did a uh, an overview of the one that was made specifically for the GBA, which fit the GBA and the GBC, which that was that was pretty cool. So yeah, this is the one. If you want to get all one that fits all three, you want to get the one with the standard Nintendo Game Boy logo on there and the stitching. So uh, yeah, that's the GB7, not the original GB7, but probably the, I think it's like the second in the GB7 line by ALS Industries. How could I forget that?